Hello and welcome again to my channel. In this video, we are going to make this car surveillance dashboard and the way that it works is if I move the car from this slot, you can see that the dashboard is in real time telling us that the car is moved. Now if I put the car back to its place, you can see that on the dashboard we have that the car is parked. Now to get started with this little project, we are using the Wemos D1 which is a pretty good version of ESP8266 and you can see the ESP8266 module laying down here on, on this board. We also have the famous ultrasonic which is helping us to determine the distance if, we, uh, if or maybe when the car is near or maybe if the car is moved by you know setting up some distance we have the breadboard and i also have you know the uh, jumper wires which is common then i am connecting the trig pin into the d4 and the eco pin into the d3 now let's go so the next thing you need to know is something that is called spiffs which is something we are going to use now spiffs is serial peripheral interface flash file system which is you know a way that helps us to upload html files css and pictures or images onto our board because these boards most of arduinos uh, you know and some other boards has a memory a little memory of i think it's like 4m 4mbs so now to be able to upload some sketches and some html things onto this board you need to first install something that is called esp8266 sketch data upload so i will leave a link in the description now the next thing you need to take care of is to go here on sketch go to show sketch sketch folder then if this pops you're gonna need where your sketch is saved you're gonna need to create a folder and name it data then go inside and put your html stuff so in my case this is my html let me open it with sublime and this these are the codes that we are going to be using to that makes that dashboard so now i'll go back to my sketch then so uh, yes of course i'm gonna need to you know connect my my boat to the wi-fi to kind of have an access which is where the dashboard will be laying then here there's this string that is called cast load which is more like uh, detecting the distance if this if the car is near or maybe if the car is a little far then if you go down here this string processor this function sends this distance that we detected onto our html page that we designed so now if i go down you can see that this is simple you know defining that the trick pin is the output the echo pin is the input this is simple then the speed that i was talking about which is a system that allows us to host you know html stuffs and you know files onto the board then down here this is you know if we had some css we would call it the css style or maybe put the name here of your css then you can see that this is the value that is being sent to our html page and then here is the index because my file where i mean my file where my my html self is called index so that's why in this course i'm specifying index.html then i guess that's all so the thing we're going to do is to first upload the the uh, the sketch then after uploading the sketch we'll be uploading the html so let me first upload maybe the sketch over here on upload then we we'll upload like here we're going so uh, Again, you need to install this ESP8266 sketch that I upload. I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and upload. Now we are uploading the page, the HTML page. Now, after it is 100% completed, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go onto my serial monitor. 
here then check to see if if i have so you can see that you know the boat is trying to connect to the wi-fi and i have the ip address i'll take this into consideration i'll copy that address go to my browser then paste it there and click on enter now you see that because the car is in its slot it is saying that the car is parked now if i move the car you can see that the dashboard is saying that the car is moved and so forth so now uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you like this video and until next time god bless